Hey, you're back to Indie Buffet. Today we're looking at Adventurer's Maze, a pretty rough 3D platforming game, I guess you could call it. So, I like what they're doing with the level design. I think the the, the character needs a little bit of, of work, but it's kind of like those Flash games where you've got to, you know, navigate through a level and pick up stars and go from there. And, you know, for, I guess, an alpha of some sort, the models aren't so bad. It starts off relatively easy. I do have some, some pretty big criticisms with this game. The, the camera is a real pain in the butt, and um, it also likes to do that uh, Unity thing where the mouse likes to leave the, the window which is kind of a pain in the butt for control. But I think the heart of this game is, is in the correct place. And you can obviously tell, this this definitely takes a lot of inspiration from those old Flash games where they're just kind of platforming. Jumping is kind of a pain in the ass, which leads to death pretty quickly. Um, and that's okay. But I, I think there needs to be some, some real tightening of the controls. It's WASD to move. This is made in Unity, uh, as you can probably guess. Um, and I'll show you guys the first two levels, and I will show the third level and we'll discuss why um, there are some, some things in this game that uh, really need some improvement. For a, a platforming game, the jumping really needs to be tightened up, um, and the camera really needs some work. Banjo, Kazooie, and uh, the rare style games. This is not, and even those games had some uh, some pretty troublesome some ca tr troublesome camera issues. Um, I'd like to see some rewards for these stars. I don't really know why we're picking them up other than you know uh, completion bonus. But you know what? For for what it is, it's an interesting concept. I've never seen a, a full 3D version of a game like this. Um, so, that's pretty neat. So, the third level is where I have a lot of problems, and that and it kind of solidifies where I'm having some issues with this game. So, you're intended to platform it, but these things, number one, they'll catch you a lot, as you can see. So, so collision is really just not good. Um, and, as you can see, it's really, really fast. And as soon as it has even a slight, I don't know what you'd want to call that, down curve to it, it wants you to fall. And it's really difficult to mount these, which it's, it's not difficult because timing is difficult. It's difficult because the game is essentially kind of effing you over. Um, and, and that's no good and no fun, so... Like right there, why why did that drop me down? Um, I, I, I want to like this game more than I do, and I'm sure once it's got some refinement, I will probably like it a lot more. But um, it's it's just this this obstacle is obnoxiously difficult, and if that's the continued see finally get, finally made it through, if that's the way they want to uh, to do things, then their heart is not in the uh, the right place. I gotta say, um, but you know, it's it's definitely getting there. But it shouldn't take five minutes for me to surmount each one of these every single time, because it makes me not want to really go through and um, collect the stars. It just makes me want to rush through and see. It's it's just, it's really really difficult to surmount these, and it's a shame because, like I said, I I think. I think the heart is in the right pit place. One other thing to note, which I think is really cool, two two character models. Um, and also, I noticed that you can also go into first-person mode, or you were supposed to be able to. Maybe I can do it now. So that's cool! Although, you had to use WASD to look around and 
that's actually even worse. Um, because it totally locks your ability to move to the WASD keys, which, not good, but I, I, I thought I'd show you guys. I think if, you know, if they can pull this off, if they can get the, uh, the controls to be a little bit more smooth, especially in first-person mode, I think this would be really cool. As it stands, though, I think it needs a lot of work before it uh, can be real good. Because you can look up and down, but uh, you can't really look anywhere else and that's going to make things like this puzzle really difficult. So, give it a try yourself, hopefully they will um, work on this and we'll be able to see a more finalized version and play it because I like I like the idea. I think it's a I think it's a clever idea. We'll see what happens once we uh, come in here with yeah nothing. There's there's nothing to to stop us from just going through. So that has been Adventurer's Maze. Hopefully they will update it and make it a little bit uh, smoother. But until then, thanks for watching.